dear students today's topic is resources i'm going to give you a brief description of resources first of all let me inform all of you that this chapter resource is in class 8s and class 10s so that we have to understand it carefully so that we can remember it till class 10s without any difficulty let me explain the connotative meaning of the word resource resource starts with the word re where you will find the word re like reform reinvent rebirth it means again or the thing which is in cyclic form or which completes a cycle then the source source from which something can be obtained it means from which something can be obtained we obtain different things from different sources it may be plants it may be animals it may be some natural forms now the question will be on your mind is sir are all resources that are available to us can be used again and again the answer is no we will discuss this question at a later stage now we will come to the definition of resource any natural or man made endowment which satisfies the need of living organisms particularly human beings what are these living organisms these can be macro organisms or these can be micro organisms it satisfies resources satisfies our need and we as the students of geography ecology and environment did classifies resources into two types resources can broadly be classified in two types one is natural resource and second one is man made resource natural resources are those resources which we obtain directly from nature like solar energy wind energy geothermal energy forests air water extra that we obtain from nature is called as natural resources these natural resources are broadly classified into different states we will analyze these states first state on the basis of origin the resource natural resource can be classified into two types one is biotic and second is abiotic or abiotic where you will find the word bio bio means life or living like biology biopic that means biotic resources are those natural resources which are living like human beings like animals like plants these are biotic natural resources abiotic resources are those natural resources which are not living but are natural these are abiotic like stones like mountains now the second stage on the basis of renewability there are two further types one is renewable and second one is non renewable renewable resources are those resources which we can use again and again without getting exhausted like solar energy like wind energy geothermal energy and non thermal non renewable sources are those sources of energy which we cannot use again and again here is the question so are we using non renewable sources today can we use it tomorrow yes but we cannot use it after 50 years or after 100 years no particular time period for non renewable resources 
Renewable resources can also be called as inexhaustible and non-renewable resources can also be called as exhaustible. These non-renewable resources are particularly as fossils. What are fossils? Dead and decaying remains of plants and animals. Now the third stage, on the basis of development, resources are three types, potential, actual and stock. Example of potential actual resources best suited example. For example, you have two cylindrical petrol tanks. One has a mark of 500 liter petrol and second one contains petrol but has no mark. Say, a car comes to this petrol tank and it needs 100 liter to get filled up. Tell me how many cars can be filled with this petrol tank. It fills five cars. And similar, a car comes to this petrol tank. How many cars can be filled with this petrol tank? We don't know because we are not knowing the quantity. So this is the actual resource and this is the potential resource. We are knowing that it has petrol. But we are not knowing the quantity. We are knowing it has petrol, we are knowing it, its continuous, its actual resource and its potential resource. Now, what is stock? Stock resources are those resources which we are knowing, which have been surveyed, but not yet being harvested. We do not have technology like example of hydrogen. We are knowing hydrogen has great potential, but we are not knowing how to harness hydrogen, how to use hydrogen in generating electricity. Now, fourth stage, on the basis of availability. On the basis of availability, you have two kinds of resources, ubiquitous and localized. Ubiquitous resources are those resources which God has provided us without any bias or which you can find everywhere, like air, water, forest, land. It's everywhere, no matter which country has, it has. Like India has water, so does Africa. Like India has land, so does America. Like India has forest, so does Saudi. Then, localized resources are those resources which are found at a particular place. For example, I will quote an example, uranium. Uranium is a localized resource of Nada. Students, this is all for today. Next topics will be upcoming in next new videos. Thanks for today.